How's it going guys? Real Rabman here back at it again with another video and we are going to Chicagoland. So uh, real quickly I'm just going to show the standings because I don't think I've shown them in a while. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Where are we? Doo -doo 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 -doo. Alright we jumped to the 36th. Last time I checked we were 39th. So 36th. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, let's go to the top and see what's going up at the top. Uh, we got Dale Earnhardt Jr. chasing his first championship. He is in first with Jeff Gordon right behind him. About, what's the difference? I can't do my math. Uh, 45 points? I, I don't know. I, I can't do math. Sorry, guys. Um, Dale Jarrett is third. Tony Stewart, who last time I checked was leading the standings, is now in fourth. So I don't know what happened to Tony. Uh, but yeah, Junior, Gordon, Jarrett, Stuart, Martin, Newman, Burton, Rudd, Labonte, and Jimmy is your top 10. In the Rookie of the Year battle, you can see Jamie McMurray is killing us. He has like a 600-point lead over Casey Mears, Jack Sprague, me, uh, this Fittipaldi guy who I've never heard of, and Biffle. Poor Biffle, he's so bad. Uh, do do do. Anything else? Manufacturer, lap champion. Yeah, we're not in any of this, so... Quickly go to team management, and I think our shop edition is one race away. So one race away from being able to build a new chassis, which would then take about either three races or six races or however, however long I pretty much want it to take. Um, and if we go to the garage, I think we have a new engine being built. So we have this engine that is being built. I set it for six races, so it's going to be a little bit more powerful than uh, the number three engine. Uh, because the number two engine, this is really complicated, the number two engine has been overhauled, so it has a little bit more power and a little bit more efficiency, mainly because my builder, Bob, yes, that's <laughs> Bob the Builder. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can! He is actually getting better, so he's improving, which means he builds better engines. I mean, very simple. Uh, still have two bodies, and yeah. Sponsorship news, you see our prestige is already in the 60s now, so we're 61, 62, 62, 63, 60, or 62, 63, I don't know, whatever. Uh, engine number two overhaul completed. So the prestige goes up, basically uh, they just give you a higher payout. Uh, not yet, I think, though. I think, uh, yeah, I don't think they give it yet. So there's only one race remaining anyways on all these sponsors, so we're going to have to sign new sponsors after the Chicago Land race. I'll do that in this episode. So now that I've shown you guys everything that uh, basically overhauls this career, uh, let's race. Could have gained a little bit more in three and four, but it's a pretty solid lap. Nice lap. We got a top ten start. It's a really solid lap. <laughs> P10. Now the thing is, I'm not very excited about that mainly because I remember what happened at Dover, qualifying pretty well and falling back. Then uh, qualifying fifth at Pocono and then falling back. Not like super excited because I know uh, the way I have the car set up, it's pretty aggressive, which means it's gonna get loose in. Which means it, it could be disastrous, and I have to be a little bit careful. So, other than me blabbing on, let's see how this race goes. The NASCAR Winston Cup Series comes to Illinois this week for today's race, the Tropicana 400 at the Chicago Land Speedway. Barney, we're still kind of new to this place. What do you think so far? Well, Joe, this really is a state-of-the-art facility. It's a one-and-a-half-mile trial, well, similar to Las Vegas with more banking. We're in for a great race today. The 83 car has been struggling at the speedways this season. Yeah, I really feel bad for those guys this season. They come to these tracks and work so hard, but they just never seem to get the car exactly right. After finishing second twice to Dale Earnhardt Jr. for the Bush Series Championship, Kenseth beat him out for Rookie of the Year in 2000. And he did it without qualifying well. Despite only two top 10 starting spots, he posted a 14th place points finish and a win and 11 top 10s.
starting P10, let's see what we can do. Green flag is out. And we are racing here, Chicagoland, 26 laps. And like normal, I'm losing spots in the restart because this car does not want to get going. Um, but we, I think, are three wide. We are three wide. And do, 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 do. this seems like Shades of Pocono again, not really being able to get going. Uh, but I'm going to go into third person for now just so I can see where everyone is around me. Uh, if you're new to the series, I cannot hear my spotter. God damn, Ricky Red, you got close. Um, I cannot hear my spotter in my ear because of the PS2 thing. It's just, it, I can't. Uh, and my TV does not have a headphone jack. Okay, so now that I am clear in 18th, losing eight spots, let's settle in. I said settle in, not push to goddamn hell. Jesus Christ. Um, this is basically the case right now. It's like, until I get the, the chassis uh, upgrade, I feel like what's been happening is the qualifying speed has gone up but the overall race pace is still suckish. Um, mainly because I don't have the grip. So I'm trying. Let me shut up now. I've been talking for two straight laps and try to focus. Sorry, Jeff. I'm not letting you by. Not letting you by. I, okay, I can't do anything if the car doesn't want to freaking turn. Yeah, it just doesn't have the race pace. I think that corner really summarizes it. Um, it does not have the race pace. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's better. Listen, we were running uh, 39th. <laughs> we were a 39th place car basically at almost all the tracks. Um, right now, we're 25th. So, like, it's 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 slightly better. It's, it's a decent upgrade. Uh, we just need more of it. That's really it. We need a chassis upgrade. Um, we need more engine upgrades, and then, uh, also a body upgrade, and we'll get better, it's just, it'll take time, uh, for now I'm just trying to do the best I can with the equipment I have, and that's the story of this season, this entire first season really is basically that, just try to get the money, try to struggle, I've reiterated this in a lot of episodes, just mainly because, you know, I'm, I don't really get hyped by if I qualify well, you know, I, I kind of expect to qualify net well now, uh, with that one lap pace, but the race pace just is not there right now. At least I made my first pass of the day. Yay! Trying to go up the inside of Elliott Sadler, but uh, turn one is not the strength. Turn one, we struggle. Um, but turn three, we're pretty good, so I think I'm going to try to make a move. Elliot, hold on to Robbie right there, please. Just hold him right there. Hold him. Just keep him on the outside. Keep him on the outside. And we will... Okay, I guess not. Don't keep him on the outside. And Robbie comes into the pits, along with a couple of other cars on lap 10. So we mow along, and uh, the car... We're basically, we're a 25th place car. That's that's what we are. Oh, right when I say that, god damn it, that got really loose. Um, but yeah, we're a 25th place car, just kind of, you know, chilling up here in the Hollywood Hills in Chicagoland, Tropicana 400... Uh, and nice old Juliet, Illinois, uh, Pacey Toast. Um, and yeah, just, just just chilling, you know. Chilling with this retard blocking us. Okay. Alright, into the pits we go. Number 29 is outside. That was a pretty good entry. Um, I'm going to bring the wedge down just a little bit more. Uh, all four tires. Do do. Everything is good here. Another slow pit stop, but what can I do? Oh, just, oh, just kill yourself. Just, just kill yourself, mate, really. 18.2. Fantastic. You could sense how pleased I am in my fucking voice. We are in 34th place. 33rd place. Makes me feel so much better that we lost fucking 8 spots on pit road. Like, really? This game... Oh, hey, man, you get an engine upgrade, you know, uh, it's, it, it's fine, you, you'll be faster. Oh, uh, your pick here goes out 18 second pit stops. That doesn't fucking help, EA. Thank you. All right, we're up to P30 through the round of pit stops. Kind of ticked, but oh, well, just got to, you know, move along. Try to get this top 30 finish, bring her home, and uh, just meet the sponsor objectives. We're signing new sponsors after this race, actually, so we'll see what that will be like. I have the zero one one car on my inside, and he makes the pass on me, but I'm going to try to fight back on the outside. I said fight back, don't put me in the wall. 
And I can't. Fight back on the inside? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Please? 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 Maybe? 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 Nope. 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 Can't. Nope. My bad. As you can see, we moved up a couple more spots, round of pit stops. Uh, again, you know, 27. Some cars are actually just pitting. The leader right now is just pitting on lap 16. He just took that thing a long way. Holy shit. Um, I need to refocus here and try not to get demolished. Hey, mate. Hey, hey. I'm trying to, I'm trying to defend you. Chill, chill, chill. I'm fighting, I'm fighting. Nope, car won't turn. Hmm. <sighs> 27, 27 still, So in this game, if you start with minus one wedge, and during the pit stop, uh, you leave it at minus one wedge, it takes another round of wedge out, so technically you're at minus two. So I just took a half a round out, so now I'm at 1.5, and the car is still tight, but you know, same old, same old, loose in, tight in the middle, tight everywhere else, you know, same old story we've been doing for like 17 damn episodes. And trust me, I love I loved this series, I think, I think this is the best way to do a career mode, is that that entire rookie season, you gotta struggle. You have to earn your stripes. Like that's what this should be. Um, Steve Park, though, I'm not letting you earn your stripes. So just, just get, get out of here. Get chill. Thank you. Um, but yeah, you have to earn your stripes. Okay, okay, okay. My bad, my bad. No, 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 no. All right, let's refocus now. You have to earn your stripes and um, just, you know, try to battle your way to the front by upgrading a car and struggling for 30th place finishes. That's kind of how this game is. I thought I had that saved. God damn it. I, I guess I deserved that. I mean, I was trying to block, trying to protect the position, and ended up ended up wrecking myself. So, I deserved that. And now we're going to come home 30. I mean, like, it's... Ah, it's one of those things. It's one of those things. Lap 24, we're not going to get the race restarted. The race is over. So we're not going to pit, and race over. So 38th it is. Uh, Should have came home. If I just let those two go, 30th, I mean, it's my fault. I'll, I'll take blame on that. That's 100% that's my fault. So unfortunately, not the race that the sponsors wanted in the last race uh, that we were having for them. But I tried being greedy. I tried uh, taking up more than I thought I could. Um, I did that move a couple of times where you uh, just just show that you're there to the AI trying to make the pass and they'll kind of slow down. Um, and oh, okay, that's that's a cool one right there. Thank you. Um, but you kind of try to you know block the AI so they don't really get that run. And I thought I did, and I didn't think Terry Labonte would get the run. He got the run. He was there. I came down. I came across his nose. Uh, tried saving it, but I couldn't, and ended up wrecking. So. Um, that's my fault. I apologize about throwing away eight spots there. I apologize to the team. I apologize to Windcraft, Kmart. Oh, wait, they're not sponsors anymore. Huh, fuck them. Okay, so new primary sponsors. NASCAR.com. They want me to finish an average finish of 25th. Windcraft, average finish of 30th. And Kroger, 30th. Okay, so I'm going to be straight up honest right now. 25th. No, I don't think I can average a finish of 25th. Uh, with certain tracks and the car that we still have, I I do not believe for one second that we can be averaging 25th. Uh, here's the thing. This contract says 18 races. So this will basically run us out for the rest of the season. Um, it all depends if I think that we could get, if the tire grip will help us. You know what? We're going to risk it. But look at that bonus. Like, if we meet that objective, like... 
That's that's a nice ass bonus. So we're gonna go with NASCAR.com, and the only reason why I'm doing this is not for the first three races, but it says average finish a twenty fifth. So you can sometimes finish twenty eighth and then finish like tenth or something and get a, a much better you know average out of that way. So we're gonna take NASCAR.com mainly because I'm gonna build that uh, chassis edition real quick. Um, secondary, we've been qualifying pretty well actually, so I I kind of want to go with CarQuest here. Um, but I, 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 I think, you know, I'm a loyalty guy, so I'm going with, <laughs> with Windcraft. Um, I, I think I could qualify 30th every race just to be a little bit safe there. Cause the, the actual primary sponsor is a little bit risky with what we're doing. We're going to go with Windcraft again, basically rank 30th in earnings. Um, this is kind of hard to do because at the beginning of the season we sucked. So like, it, yeah, that's just stupid. So we're just going to go with Windcraft here. And then the next two don't really matter. Just, you know. Random sponsors. I'm going to go with waste management because, you know, who doesn't love waste management? Okay, now let's go to the garage. We have new chassis that we could build. We have uh, that number four engine is being built as we speak. So let's build the chassis. So we have, we let's go here. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, so if we do three races, we have 56, 50, and 56. If we do six races, we got 59, 53, and 59. And nine races, we got 62, 56, and 62. That is not quick enough, so I'm not going to be going with that. Um, basically, what I'm going to be doing is probably this, uh, just so we can get it really quickly in time. And then the second chassis that we build will probably be this one right here. So six races. So for this one, we're going to go uh, three races, try to get that chassis built in. And I'm also going to... Can we overhaul one? Yeah, we're going to overhaul. So we're going to over, overhaul the chassis number two. And we're going to spend a good amount of money on that. So that way we have 55, 51, 59. So overhaul that. That'll be two races. So for the next two races, we'll be using chassis number one. Now let's go to the engines. We are going to overhaul engine number one. And now we have... Uh, well, actually... Let's go 70k. Let's go 70k. We're gonna over actually. Uh, I actually held back on overhauling the engines real quick because I have just mo enough money to do something here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is basically save up. I I still don't really need efficiency. I mean, like we we make the races fine. The only race we didn't really get there was daytona so we're gonna save up for the engine dyno because i still think we need a little bit more power so engine dyno we're gonna save up for or we could do chassis uh tire wear tire wear is a big deal because that will help us actually take two tires and maybe gain some spots so um the thing is i want to do 300k for this and we only have 278 so i'm gonna wait one race and i'm gonna make my decision after it so uh, we're going to probably do this. I'm going to warn you guys right now. I'm probably going to be doing the tire wear thing. Um, I just need to do one more race to get a little bit more money. And then we will put that in. That is the end of the video. So until then, guys, make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And subscribe if you are new. And peace out. Have a great day. Oh, yeah.